Hello, my name is Adam Ratcliffe and I am a member of the Data School's 23rd cohort at the Information Lab and in this video we're going to be looking at dashboard user experience tips. This is a dashboard that I put together to demonstrate some poor user experience techniques. So we're going to go top to bottom and we're going to go through what is wrong about this dashboard. Firstly, the title, Superstore Dashboard doesn't tell you anything. The title should be more informative at least than that. Otherwise, why have one? Profit over time is this top left chart. Top left chart should always be uh, one of the most important charts as people read left to right, top to bottom. So top left is going to be quite important. Profit over time isn't a particularly good title because it doesn't really explain that time field along the bottom. I can tell you that it's the sum of the values of those months for the years selected in the bottom right filter, but you don't know that. I've had to explain it to you, and it's not explained on the dashboard. It also uses the color red, which is used in other charts along the dashboard, but it is not explained that the red in this chart has no relevance to the other charts on this dashboard. So avoid using matching colors when some colors mean things and some colors don't. It also has this year of order date filter all the way on the bottom right, complete opposite direction from where it is, so it's not clear that th this applies to it. This also has an all and a none option, and that is something to consider should you have those things in there. If a user was playing around with this filter and they got rid of all of them, they might think they've broken the chart because it's disappeared. Next, subcategory sales. This has a variance on the axis because if you click on a subcategory, it'll give you the difference in sales value for all of the subcategories compared to the one you clicked. I haven't explained that here. You can't put something this complicated into a dashboard without explaining it to the user, otherwise they're not going to understand. They might not even have ever clicked on anything in the dashboard and they may have thought that fasteners had minus 200,000 sales. And that's going to be very confusing, particularly when the label is the actual sum of sales, not the variance of sales. Having labels that aren't what's on the axis is also very confusing. You shouldn't have two measures kind of on the same chart there. The user won't necessarily understand that by looking at it. It's also got a color legend beneath it for all the colors in it. But why are they all colored? They don't need to all be colored. And these colors don't apply to the rest of the dashboard. So there's probably no need to have those colored like that. There's also this highlight feature where if you scroll over one, it will highlight the category it belongs to. This is fine as a feature, but it really exemplifies how the color doesn't really make much sense. This blue turns into an orange on the top below. This turns into a blue. This turns into an orange. This turns into an orange, etc. These colors don't line up and users will know that. State by sales map here, where the darker the color, the more sales there are in those states. I haven't said anywhere on this dashboard that the darker the color, the more sales there are, so the user simply doesn't know that. It's not a difficult thing to guess, but they shouldn't be guessing. They should just know. You can also click on a state to filter, but as you can see, I hadn't written anywhere. That's how that works. You also might want to consider which charts it's filtering. This filtered all of the charts, and you can see that on the subcategory sales variance chart, gives a lot stranger results than on the other charts that you might expect. It's also red again, red for sales instead of red for profit above. If you're going to have these colors on the same dashboard, make sure that they all mean the same thing. In this case, they clearly don't. Profit by category over time, we can see that it's the profit and it's by the categories, but we don't have a category color legend, so we don't actually know which of those lines means which category. Instead, we have a, a different color legend right next to it for a chart that is above it. This is very confusing because you've got these colors right next to each other. You're going to presume that they're about each other, but they're not. It also says over time, just like profit over time on the top left, but it's a different kind of over time. And this is since January of 2018 instead of just one calendar year. This year of order date therefore doesn't affect this chart, but you can't tell that by looking at it. 
I then made a dashboard that I thought addressed these issues and kind of fixed up this dashboard with better user experience in mind. So we're going to take a look at that now. So in this dashboard now, we have a new title, Superstore Sales and Profit, and we have the two charts at the top being about sales and the two charts at the bottom being about profit. The arrangement here now is that in the top left, the first chart we're going to look at is sales by state, a complete overview of the country, taking the most prominent place as it gives you that immediate top level analysis of what's going on. You can see beneath the title, it says select a state to filter. So you know that the filter works and you have a color legend at the top right that says total sales 1K to 458K. So you know that the darker the color, the more sales going on. Then you have your subcategory relative sales, Put relative sales in bold in the title to make it clear that this chart isn't so, isn't showing pure sales values, but relative sales values. It then says select subcategory to use a benchmark, so you know to immediately click on something, click on appliances here, and it will change, making it the benchmark. But that doesn't necessarily explain what's happening, so you have this more info, and if you hover over it, it will then say selecting a subcategory will change the values of each subcategory to the difference in sales compared to the chosen subcategory. You now have everything explained on the dashboard, what this chart does, and it's been recolored to be just by category matching the chart beneath it with its color legend as well. Then in the bottom left, you have monthly profit and you have your year filter now included within the square of that chart. And, the and in the title, you have the year that you're looking at and you can go ahead and you can change that and you have no way to make it there are such there is no year in there leaving it blank. Monthly profit also denotes that each mark is therefore making up one month as opposed to just saying over time, making it clear what that chart is showing. Monthly profit by category since January 2018. In this chart, you now know that each mark is again a month, but it starts all the way in January 2018 and goes all the way to 2022, as it says on the axis. So you understand how it's different from the chart previous to it. You say, you say, you know which line is which category because you now have a color legend and if you hover over it it will then highlight the subcategories above in a way that's now intuitive and um, with matching colors only a few changes really here made to make this completely understandable for a new user so it's very easy to fall into these traps where so it can be very easy to make a dashboard that is actually not user friendly because you know what each chart does, but you really have to think about whether or not they know what each chart is going to do. I'd be really interested to hear if you have any more suggestions to how to, how to make this dashboard even more user friendly. Put those in the comments below, help other people out who might be needing these kind of tips. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned more about dashboard user experience optimization. Check out this video here to learn about custom date formats.